I said we would get it in two to three months. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to go into people closer to two months rather than three months. And when you say go into people, a trial, which you said it'll take about a year or more before right. it could yeah. really be tested and yeah. find the out first, if it's safe The first step in a trial is phase one to determine safety and does it induce the kind of response that you would predict would be protective. That's an important step. Uh, with SARS, that took 20 months. Uh, if you get it down to two months, that's pretty good. But then you have a multi-step process, and that's one of the things we want to make sure the American public don't get confused about, because it'll take three or four months to see if it's safe and induces a good response. Then you go to the real proof of the pudding, which is the phase two and then the phase three. But even with phase two, you don't only see 100 to 1,000 or more people. That's phase two. Phase one is 45 people. So when you go to phase two, that would take yet again another six to eight months in an environment in which there are infections because you want to show it works. You add all of that up and you're dealing with a year to a year and a half at the earliest. Then you've got to scale up to make enough doses to get to the American people. So when I tell the vaccine story, there's good news and there's sobering news. The good news is we did it more quickly than we've ever done it. The sobering news is that it's not ready for prime time for what we're going through now.